Hey, before we get too far into this video, make sure to tune into the channel on July 1st, 2017. I've got some big news surrounding this 2017 Sherco 300 SER. Don't miss it. You know, times like right now, I get so much gratitude in my heart that that uh, God has given me the, uh, the privileges and the blessings to be able to come out here and enjoy this beautiful scenery and um, that I've had good employment so I've been able to you know have a little bit of have a little disposable income and work up to it and then I'm thankful that I've had the, the health uh, to be able to work you know two jobs to be able to do this uh, dirt bike channel thing I mean obviously you don't have to have two jobs if you're just gonna ride a dirt bike but if you're gonna try to do what I'm doing here and review a bunch of bikes it is part-time work and I am thankful for you know the the uh, the opportunity to to do this to get out to have the health have the fitness have the you know have the ability to come out and enjoy nature and enjoy this this sport of dirt biking I love being able to have a, like be on top of all of my controls right now I am poised on every single one of my controls obviously I've got my I've got my hand on the throttle but if you look I've got a finger on the clutch and a finger on the brake and I'm covering the rear brake down here with my right foot because I've needed it multiple times and so I'm literally going clutch front brake rear brake clutch front brake rear brake the entire time here and it's just so fun when you when you've got when you are giving inputs into all of your controls the throttle both brakes and the clutch all at the same time um, and, and you, it's just kind of coming you're at, you're at one with the bike that is just a that is just a beautiful feeling knowing that at any one moment you can you can skid that rear wheel just a little bit if you need to like there I end up steering with the rear wheel just a little bit skidding it around I've done it twice in the last uh, 30 seconds where I'm on that front brake pretty hard and I'm coming through and I need to just slide that back end around so I'm grabbing a little bit of clutch here with my with my left finger and uh, then applying some downforce there on that rear brake just covering that like I did right there so, and I just I, I can't tell you how many times I'll just come back from a ride just where my heart is full man just thanks to God and thanks to my family and everything else for being able to you know supporting me and and doing this dirt bike stuff it, it's just been a major major blessing to ride and progress and be out and just get get fulfilled and get and get recharged you know recharge those batteries after a long week, work week this is friday night you know it's a you got long stressful weeks at work where things aren't going you know as smoothly as you'd like and then uh the weekend comes or, or maybe you're able to just kind of do it on a on a week night where you get out on the bike and uh, get centered again recharge your batteries and that's that's what dirt bikes do do for me you get man and machine start to meld together oh that was a tight turn that i was remembering <laughs> Drop gear here, splash through that, shift back up, weave through the trees here, weave and bobbing up on my toes, in an attack position, whoa that tree grabbed the tripod, I've got the tripod up, it's sticking up out of my uh, backpack, and every once in a while a tree will grab onto it and about tear me off the bike, oh the, the, the joy of Riding with it, being your own, your own camera crew. You got sometimes drones in a backpack or in a vest, and sometimes you got a camera like this with a tripod on. So 
you can shoot some other shots. Whacking your head. All these branches. Yes. Yes. I love. I love your backs. Oh shoot. Sometimes I get a little, a little ahead of myself. Grab another gear. Put that gear back. Just get around the corner there. I'll put that gear back in the box. Sometimes you get a gear out, only to put it back. Like right back. Cutting along pretty good. Feeling good. It's that time where the sun gets low in the sky and Kyle starts to feel good. Everything starts to work better. My mind gets more clear. Been out here for a couple hours. Oh man, that was freaking. That one hurt. Hit my right hand there and nailed me in the chest and the face, and that one, that one hurt. That one not so much back there, but. Here, right here. I think I'm clear right in the middle of that. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. I know there's a washed out section up here. I gotta be careful. Okay, it's this is one where you just, yeah, you just keep your speed on that. Because I'm coming right back down from where I just came up a few minutes ago. So, sure that was fresh in my mind. This is one where I can't make a loop out of it because of where the truck is parked. Have to go up, and then come right back down. Closed to Jeeps. Well, it may be closed to Jeeps, but it ain't closed to dirt bikes because this trail is dry it's dusty dry all the way down i mean you cross the creek a couple of times but aside from the parts where you cross the creek this thing is bone dry and it is dusty if you were i mean that's not crazy dusty but if you're right behind me it'd be dusty and it's not that dusty right here because we're on the top side of the cliffs of doom and uh people aren't uh taking this trail that much and I'm running into the same problem that I had on the last ride, which is I'm going right into the sun and I got a lot of glare now right on my right on my uh, goggles. So here's the Cliffs of Doom right here. And uh, I'm just gonna hit this in stride and you'll see the line selection. It'll probably look totally stupid right now, but going down that is is not a problem. It's coming up that sucker. It is. It, it gets your heart going, dude. Let me just tell you what. You've got a bunch of naysayers on here that'd be like, oh, that's nothing. Well, come and hit it in real life and tell me it's nothing. Graham Jarvis wouldn't say it's nothing. Graham Jarvis would do it with ease because he's unbelievable but I guarantee you, he wouldn't say that's nothing. He would say, oh, you gotta pay attention on that one. You know, that's, it's it's pretty off camber. Graham Jarvis rides dirt bike for a living and he's one of the best hard enduro riders ever. So he would smoke that easily. Wouldn't think twice, but he also wouldn't say it's nothing. Look at me putting words in Graham Jarvis. A jerk I am see that covered that rear brake and slid around that because I was headed straight for that freaking big log 
way too fast to jump it. So covering that brake and boom, slid that rear wheel around, got in the position that I wanted to be in. See, this trail is so much wider down here below the Cliffs of Doom because it gets used so much more. And then people get up there and they bail. Now this is that tree that needs to be taken care of. That is so, oh my gosh, pulled my, caught my, caught my uh, tripod there. We may need to get up in there with the trail council and cut that thing, cut a, cut a little, cut a little thing open in that so that people don't knock themselves out. Cause it's, oh, they'll probably leave it cause you can get under it. But, and if you're not paying attention, you can just really whack your head on that sucker. Hey guys, if you didn't already know, Patreon is the best way to support Dirt Bike Channel. We've got some really cool rewards over there, so click on the link up here that you see to become a patron. That'll take you directly to our site, and you can check everything out. Uh, you can donate as little as $1 per month, and it would really, really help us out. Thanks a ton, guys.